Hello guys, Casual Gamers here. How are you diddling? I've just unboxed this game here, Bloodborne. Um, I've got no idea, right, I've only heard things about it. I've seen a few sort of screenshots and stuff. Um, so I bought this and for the PS4 and I thought I'll give it a blast. At least see what it's all about. So I'm going into this uh, with complete ignorance. Um, so let's take a look. New game. That'll do. Right now, originally I wanted to get into Dark Souls, but I didn't oh, know where yeah. to start. Well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. I need a contract. According to the old geezer. Enter name. I think I can manage that. Um, I don't know why, but in these games, <laughs> I always put, uh, just seems to be a bit more fitting. Um, sir, I haven't finished yet. So spot, spot on. That'll do. Uh, gender, male, age. Now, you can tweak this to your liking, like you can in. Um, you can personalise practically everything. Uh, as you can see, the appearance. Appearance. You got an endless sea of options. If you go into this, um, I won't be going into that just now because it's going to take me at least an hour to get that set up and decide. So I'm just going to go for the origin. Now, there's, there's a lot of stats in this, um, which I didn't really understand in Dark Souls either. Demon Souls and another game which I can't remember which I don't know it was Demon uh, Dark Souls 2 Scholars of the First Sin but very atmospheric these games um, I don't know if it's a Souls game uh, if you know you maybe can leave a comment and give me a bit of background on this because I'm not going to look into it too much what I want to do ideally is uh, go into it blindly and see what I can get out of it like old school gameplay, right? Now I could tweak many things there, but I'm not gonna do it. Finalize the contract. It's done, my old friend. There you get some tips on the screen. And again, I can remember seeing that in Dark Souls. Um something to read while it's loading. So yeah, let's see what the graphics are like and uh, what not. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad. Hang on a minute, I signed the contract, but I didn't say anything about a blood transfusion. <laughs> now just hold your asses right there. I've just woken up in this dark, dank place. What the hell is that? Pool of blood. 
Is it a lizard? Is it a it's a like a werewolf? Oh shit! Straight into bother. I haven't even got out of bed yet. Give me a chance. Give us a fighting chance at least. Give him a biscuit. You're a born. Bloody hell. God. To hell with you. What the? I knew I should have cleaned all that crap out from under the bed. Something I've been meaning to do. I knew there was all sorts under there, but I never expected this. Can you imagine this in VR? It must be mental. Oh, that slava. Disgusting. Ah, you found yourself a hunter. Right. From now on, I'm going to promise myself to read the small print in everything I sign, because this is just too much. Um, I think somebody's managed to pull the wool over my eyes, or the hood. Uh, so, let's have a look. What's that? Books? Um, might as well just kick all them over then. Nothing in there. All kinds of stuff. A rather untidy place. That was a camera glitch there a little bit. Only to be expected. Don't worry about it. Doesn't affect the game in any way, shape or form. Open the door. <laughs> Textures look brilliant. The sound's excellent. You can hear the creaky floorboards. Oh, it looked like the stairs off the shining. Bloody hell. Uh, should I do it? Yeah, go on then. Just slowly. I don't know what's going to spring out. So what you're witnessing is the, f the first ever playthrough of this game. What could be view notes. <laughs> R1 attack right hand weapon. Okay. It's very dark soul ish. Nothing to interact with here. I tell you what, the uh, R3 centralised the camera, which is handy. I like that. R3 lock on release target. Really nicely animated that. There's little fetus alien skeletons holding that scroll, wielding that scroll. Bloody hell. Look at that. Bloody hell. I tell you what it reminds me of. Not so long back, I went rambling up in the mountains here in, in Catalonia and I, uh, I came across this abandoned chapel and it was, it was, a little bit more spooky than this actually um, it's one of my adventures right so something's going on up there that doesn't look too healthy and I can't see anything to arm the hell was that I can't see anything to arm myself with All these tools lying around. Again, I'm very, I'm very sort of cautious because I just don't know what to expect. Oh my God, it's that werewolf again! Bon appetit. Enjoy your meal now. While he's filling his boots, we've got to get our hands on something. Uh, some kind of weapon, but I can't pick any of them up. Can't even pick a, a scalpel up. So, uh, what can you do? What's that? That's uh, hit him with that. No, it's not going to work either. Um, so, as far as I understand, there are two possibilities, and I'm just guessing here, right? 
Um, it's either going to be a, a deliberate scene where I get attacked, he kills me, and I end up in another, on another plane. Um, or I've just completely missed the weapon that I should have picked up. So, I think I've still got some biscuits left in my pocket, so dog biscuits. I don't know if he'd be, he might not, he might not mind if, oh shit, bloody hell, no, I think there's, no, bad idea, oh god, bloody hell, get away, yeah, I know you love me, get off, come on, I'm handy, ah, oh, he got me, Bloody hell, you died. What's a good start, isn't it? Um, I don't know what to say about that. Now, I'll either go back to the title screen, because if I died, it can't be a good thing, can it? Um, right, now it seems to be like an awakening, so I've, I've been transported to another plane or somewhere. It's gonna have some kind of deep story background. Um, I'm just gonna take it at face value, right? Oh, what the hell? Right, okay. Um, right. Just gonna make a beeline for the. What's that? Yanam headstone. Awaken at a selected location in Yarnum. Right, got it. Awaken above ground. Yeah, preferably, thank you. That would be good. First floor of sick room. I don't know yet. I'm not going to make any decisions. I, Jesus, what's this? The messages offer you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded with the right hand and employed in beast hunting. Really? Uh, saw cleaver, hunter axe, threaded cane. Eeny meeny miny more. Hunter axe. Got it. A firearm. The messengers offer you a firearm. Choose one. Firearms are wielded in the left hand and employed in beast hunting. Blunderbuss. That's like, what's that like? Scattered shot. So that's like, I think that's damage, isn't it? 20. Uh, Hunter pistol, 70. I think I'm going to have to go for the pistol. What's this one here? Another present. A notebook received from the messengers. Leave messages with these loyal servants to share them with hunters in other worlds. I'll take note of that, thank you very much. Um, right, first door. Bugger. Closed. Now. Um, let's see what's up this side. Not sure about that, boss. Use your intuition. This one closed. Bloody hell. Well, that's a nice welcome, isn't it? I thought they'd have a welcome doormat or something to make me feel at home. The sounds uh, are quite sort of uh, immersing. What's that? What's that? Uh, holy chalice. Well. Now I'm going into this in a very old school fashion. So let's just imagine that I've got no internet connection. Which would be difficult because I wouldn't be able to upload this video later. Um, like back in the day where you just had to experiment and explore. Um, so much of games are lost I think. Because uh, we've got all these videos now on YouTube and tutorials. View notes. After taking damage from an enemy, there is a period of time in which attacking the enemy will return. Sorry, in return will restore a certain amount of your HP. Okay, that's pretty sort of standard. Take that. Next scroll. Uh, 
R1. When next to staggered enemy, visceral attack. Hmm. Well, bear that one in mind. Shooting your firearm will interrupt and stagger an enemy when properly timed to their attack. Hmm. Time is of the essence, or timing. Hitting an enemy from behind with a charge attack causes them to stagger. Right, okay. Was that another one? R2, strong attack. Hold R2, charge attack. Right, my memory is not what it used to be. I think it's just a question of trial and error. Um, I'm sure I won't remember any of this. Left and um, so experimentation is the ticket. That's the key. Just experiment with it and see what. Yeah, don't punch the wall, man. Now let's go through. It's closed as well. Bloody hell. Now another one. Emergency quicksilver bullet replenishment. Ah, right. Okay. Use with caution. Performing this action drains HP. switch weapons right now um, these weapons use item toggle items right okay <gasps> bloody hell oh, I've just dream up it just told me not to do that be careful with this it said what's over here um, what I do, what I think I should do at the moment, I, I should do, I should arm these weapons. Gestures, personal effects, gestures. Now, I'm not too sure about that. Not too sure about that. It's going to take me a while to get used to, oh, what, that's a bit of a dodgy one. Might come in handy. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and arm these weapons. But to do that, obviously I'm going to have to find out where the inventory is. Logical thing is to press that, right? Inventory. Um, leave a note using messengers. I read a note. Hunter's Mark, sacrifice all blood echoes and awaken it anew. Let's just take a butcher's to see what's at the top. There's a hunter axe. Use. Can't use a hunter axe. Joking. Mmm. I'm doing something stupid at the moment, aren't I? Quite a lot to take in. I'm going to have to experiment with this and see what. Equipment, right hand weapon. Alright, equipped. It's weird. So, what about the pistol? It's a right hand weapon. Left hand weapon, right, got it. Um. So why have I got two spaces there for... Does it matter? Equip it. Now. I'm ready to rumble. Bloody hell. That went off. Don't you get the chance to aim? Jeez. So I've got two powerful weapons here. Got the dogs barking upstairs now. Set them off. Um, is there any way to aim with this? I mean, is it just... Uh, um... I think we might be able to smash this down. I don't know, I'm only guessing. Seems like a logical thing to do. Might be quite blunt now after that. But, um... But anyway, we'll give it a blast.
just got a mark on it. Get off that stone. Ah. Well, so there's something else we're missing. Um, now I've got my weapons sorted. What's all this about? Trading blood echoes with messengers to buy and sell items. Okay, well, I'm not going to sell anything. I just want to get in, in that door. I don't know if there's any kind of a map, but um, but anyway, up to now it seems quite uh, interesting. There's a gate. What about that? Any chance? No chance. Close, mate. The close on uh, Fridays. Let's give it a chance. Let's give it a chance. Persevere for a while. That's totally weird. An abandoned doll. That is spooky. Anything with dolls in it has got to be spooky, hasn't it? Just take a step back there. So at the moment, for you, I mean, for you guys who've already played it or you've completed it, um, you'll know exactly where to go and what to do. This is right at the very beginning of the game. So I decided to buy this um, Game of the Year edition, Bloodborne PS4 edition, because um, I'd heard stuff about it and I. I wasn't sure where to start with the Souls games and I'm not even sure if this is a Souls game technically but it looks like a Souls game in, in many senses um, so we'll give it a shot and see if we can get into it graphics are great, the sounds great up to now animations from what we've seen look really good and I don't know where to go so I'm not going to just bash I wish I could bash it down but there's no clue as to what I've got to do next but that's the experience that I wanted old school so I think I'm going to persevere with this must be somewhere to get in the bloody place surely Sometimes it's staring us right in the face, which is normally the case. So you've got to observe as well. Might be able to get in through the back door, uh, if there is one. It's quite a foggy evening, according to the uh, weather forecast, yeah. Um, So I think I'll just explore and see what I can find. Hopefully I'll come across something real soon. I won't be wandering around for long. Um, but that's what's, what it's all about, isn't it? It's about exploration and discovery. So let's just plod on. See, there's a gate there. But I can't get over it. And another set of gates, which are unfortunately closed. So I just seem to be going around in circles at the moment. So, first impressions. Uh, I'm not really sure yet. I mean, as I say, I like the graphics and everything, and the sound's brilliant. Um, so, I think we'll just leave it there for now. Um, and I might get into this, actually. I might go back and go back to my original sort of character and tweak that a little bit. His appearance and whatnot. Um, 
So if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you didn't, you know what to do. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.